Greetings, everyone. Thanks for joining us, clicking the video. Today, we're going to take a look at how the United States went from friends to foes with the nation of France under the administration of George Washington during the French Revolution. So let's get started. And if you keep in mind, um, the United States had a lot of foreign policy problems and challenges in the 1790s. England was giving us a headache. Spain was giving us a headache. We had Native American issues. And, of course, France. France is probably the biggest one or the biggest kind of thorn in the side of Washington. And it all comes down to the fact that in 1789, France has itself a little revolution. You say you want a revolution. And basically the monarchy is overthrown and France proclaims itself a republic. Now we're not going to get into the French Revolution details, but basically there is a split in America about how to react to this French Revolution. You know, for some Americans, especially the Jeffersonian Republicans, they saw this as an extension of our own fight for liberty and, you know, a fellow republic for us to play with in the world. And there's this kind of hopefulness in America regarding the French Revolution. Remember, they were our homies following the Battle of Saratoga. We had signed the Franco-American Alliance. Now, things start kind of getting a little bit sticky when there's questions. Should would the U.S. support the French Revolution? And the reason why that question comes up is France begins to go to war with its neighbors, its monarch neighbors. And there's a growing debate in the United States about what the role of the United States should be with regard to the French Revolution. And the reason why there is a debate is this revolution takes on a very radical tone. No, 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 no. King Louis and the Queen, his shouty, gets their heads cut off, and you have something like 40,000 people being killed during the Reign of Terror. The church was attacked, and France now is going to war with much of Europe in 1792. And France starts making overtures to the United States saying, hey, you know, help us out, America. We, we helped you out. Our alliance, our Franco-American alliance, is still in effect. That a treaty we had signed after the Battle of Saratoga, it is still in effect, and we want your help. Now, Washington faces a dilemma. And Washington has to decide, do we come to the aid of France in their war with their neighbors? And Washington decides, you know what? I don't want to fight. Tonight, I don't really want to fight no more. Tonight, I don't really want to fight no more. Because it's time for letting go. In fact, in 1793, Washington issues his Neutrality Proclamation. And basically, in this proclamation, Washington says um, that we're going to stay out of this. And he wants the American people to stay out of this, and there should be no actions that would perceive support for one side or the other. He wants to be neutral. Now, this causes tension in America because his Neutrality Proclamation causes further division within the nation. You know, remember, there was the beginnings of political parties during this time. You had the Federalists, and you had the Jeffersonians, the Democratic Republicans. And the Democratic Republicans looked at the French Revolution and said, you know what, should we get involved? And the answer is, yeah. 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 Okay, we should get involved, because they, they're upset with Washington's neutrality. They think we should get involved. They're the ones who view the French Revolution as an extension of our own fight for freedom. We want to play with this fellow republic. They're fighting for the same principles we fought for back in 1776. So we owe it to them to honor our treaty, our obligations of the Franco-American Alliance of 1778. Now on the flip side, you have Washington's perspective held by many Federalists, which is, you know what, this is dicey because we're in a very kind of vulnerable place right now as a nation. We're young, we're not very strong, and we can't do it. 
In fact, he felt it was in the best interest of the young nation to avoid an international conflict because we need to preserve and protect our young infant nation. And there was a real concern about how radical this revolution had become. You know, if we get into the mix of this, uh, this could be bad. You know, we don't support what's going on in France, this kind of radical uh, direction it's taken. And now that they're fighting with other countries in Europe, no, 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 no thank you. Uh, it was fun while we were homies, now we're done. In fact, Washington and the Federalists, they view it like this. We signed the treaty with the monarch. They're dead, they're gone. And so therefore the treaty is no longer in effect. Now this neutrality is challenged during Washington's administration when you get a guy, a French dude, citizen Edmond Genet, a representative of the French Republic, and he comes to the United States in the 1790s, he comes to uh, South Carolina, and he starts going on a tour um, challenging our neutrality, asking for Americans to support um, the French cause. And this was one of those rare moments where Alexander Hamilton and Thomas Jefferson agree because they basically say, hey, citizen Edmund Genet, you're violating our neutrality by going around running your mouth. And so they basically say, hey, you got to go. You're dead to me. In fact, he is uh, told to get out. He's offered asylum because he probably would have been killed over in France because of the, the change of power. Um, so he does end up staying in the United States. But... Many are angry that the French are violating our neutrality. In fact, it goes a step further because of their frustrations over our unwillingness to get involved in their war. They start doing something called impressment. And if you watch the other video about England, you know impressment is an act of kidnapping a ship, its contents, and or its men, and forcing them into your navy. And the reason why this is important is because not only was England doing this, but France was doing this as well. And the United States and George Washington are in a very difficult situation because throughout the 1790s, American neutrality is being harassed and attacked by France and England. That's going to do it for today. Um, as always... If you haven't done so, subscribe to Joe's Productions, click like on the video, tell a friend to check out the channel, tell all your classmates, and sing your favorite song in the shower, just belt it out like you are the greatest singer ever, you're going to feel better after you do it, and uh, have a beautiful night. Peace!